Hey, can I ask him? No, I thank you all. What I'm going to be speaking on, it's through experience. Kamanati Tayak, we have to protect this earth, a ski, this land that we live on. Because on this land, there are medicines, sacred plant life, animal life, four legged animals, the flyers, the swimmers, the crawlers, a Siniwak, right rock people, the two legged people. That's us. We are a Siniwinuak. That's in our language. That means people of the rock because we originate from this land and we go back to it when we're finished. So that's, an, that's another reason why we have to respect this land. It's our mother. We go back to her. Right now, while we're living, she looks after us. Everything we need, she gives us. These are the understandings of our people. Our people knew that we were well looked after. That's why they honored the land. They became one with the land. They lived in harmony with the land. The way of teaching respect for land, living in harmony with all creations, it is done through the ceremonies of our people through the preservation of languages. The, the ceremonies teach us everything in the circle. It teaches us, the ceremonies teaches us everything is reciprocal. When we give something, when we take something, we have to give back something. That's why that kiste mao comes ahead. Tobacco always comes first. Anything that you ask for, you have to offer that tobacco for sacred teachings. The circle is reciprocal and relational. That's one of the most important teachings of our people. You know, nobody's better than the next one. You think of those elements, they're in a circle. They're all equally important. The animals, they're all equally important and so is the plants. And that's how the people are supposed to look at one another too. Equality. We're all belonging to this, on this land. So we need to respect one another. Very important teachings. Those are teachings I would like our newcomers to understand. And nothing survives without, without the other. We need one another to survive. We cannot destroy the elements. We destroy the elements. We destroy ourselves. Our ceremonies also teaches us in order to survive, we have to live in harmony with nature. We always have to live in harmony with what's out there. Today, I feel bad for the young ones. I don't think they'll ever experience going out there on an open body of water to drink water. Everything's contaminated today. You know, it's uh, the pollution is in the air. You know, there's pollution in the water and in the ground inside Mother Earth with all the digging that goes on. You know, from the time our ancestors we're living here, all those things were, you know, they were not disrupted. They were very clean. Those are the elements in the ski. I'll talk about the land, lots of berries, lots of rabbits, fish, the swimmers and many kinds of insects. The insects have a job to, to do. Those four lives, the flyers, swimmers, the crawlers and the four-legged animals. They all had their own responsibilities. They had their jobs to do and they were plentiful. 